Hi guys, just a very quick introduction. My daughter gave me this to look at. So a six port, intelligent charging, each port 0 to 2.4 amps. Smart USB charging. Yeah, okay. Well, you plug it in, switch it on, light comes on, but no power is coming out of any of the ports. Now, a couple of minor little points. Either her cats have been chewing the wire, or it's got caught somewhere. It's certainly not safe, and will need replacing anyway. But that's not the fault. So I say, the light does come on. Yeah, light comes on. So we will take it apart and have a look inside. It should have little black feet on each of them. I've taken two of them off. The rest are missing anyway. I will unplug it before I take it apart. No, I should just demonstrate we get nothing out of it. So lights on. Nothing. 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 Okay, so we'll unplug it, take it apart, see if there's anything obvious. It may have been trodden on, crushed, something may be cracked inside. We might be lucky. Right, top lifts off. Big capacitor there, so we don't want to go touching it just in case it's still powered up. It looks like there's a fuse there, so that might be a good place to have a look. Just there, so I'll get a meter and measure across that fuse. Well, I just measured the fuse and the fuse is okay, so it's not going to be a quick, easy fix. Change the fuse. I started looking at this last night, took it apart and hoped it was going to be really simple, like that fuse had blown. Well, that fuse is absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it. I've been measuring around, tracking the mains voltage that comes in on these two wires, seeing where it gets to. I've also been identifying the components. That NTC is negative thermal conductor, I think that stands for, something like that. I would have called it a thermistor in the past, but... The resistance changes as it heats up. So that's part of the temperature control. This one is um, a bridge rectifier. And I don't know if we can quite see. Yeah, we can. It's got plus, AC, and minus. So what we should get is AC to those two tags in the middle there. And then we should get DC out on the outside. Anyway, I've been looking at all this. And then just as I was moving things around, I noticed this thing, which is a toroid with windings on it. A choke, perhaps. Um, I looked at it and I thought, hang on a minute. And that wire just there... Is disconnected it's not making contact with the termination point tag underneath that might be our problem 
Whether I can get in there with a soldering iron and just get that to make contact, I don't know. It's possible that what has happened here is the unit has been trodden on. Possibly, maybe. And that may have been pushed down and it's broken. It could be anything that's caused that. But I will see if I can get in there with a soldering iron and just bridge that gap. I don't know how. It's going to be very difficult to work on. So we will see. That capacitor is the one to be worried about. I have deliberately shorted it out a couple of times while I've been working on it. It's probably still charged up now. Nope, looks like we're okay at the moment. I have got some good sparks off that when I've shorted it out to be safe. So, that's tonight's little project. See if there's any way I can bridge the gap there. No chance of um, videoing me doing it, because I'm going to be... Uh, well, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing while I'm working on it. But we'll see if that makes any difference. Depends whether this is actually crushed and no good at all. or Well, we'll find out. We'll see if we can solder that up somehow. I might have to push a tag up from underneath just to fill the gap and then solder that together. Right, I think I've done it. One, two, three, four. That's the... Those two are the coil on the left-hand side of the toroid, and those two are the coil on the right-hand side of the toroid. So with my meter set to continuity, I go on those two. We got it. And if we go on those two, we've got it. We should also go all the way through to the tags on the rectifier. So, we might have fixed it. We'll put it back together and find out. Right, I have tested it. It does work. But before we actually demonstrate it, I am replacing this cable. Because there's actually conductors sticking out through the cuts in it. Now I've no idea whether that's the cats have chewed it or it's been caught on something and jerked, but whatever it is, that one's completely unsafe. But I happen to have a, a stock of connector cables that I made up over the years. So We'll just demonstrate. We'll switch that off there for now. Plug that in. This one's got a three amp fuse on it, which is the same as the one that we've just replaced. So, switch it on. Light comes on. And we've got five volts. Five volts. 5 volts, 5 volts, 5 volts, 5 volts. So it looks like we're fixed. I'll put the top back on now. Just unplug it again. Wait for that to die away? Well, we don't need to wait for it to die away. It will eventually. Just the capacitance that's in there is disconnected now. There we go. It's gone. So, back together. 
You might be able to hear it's raining outside. Of course, you don't need to watch me do this. I'll put them back together and then we'll have one more demonstration. All back together, plug it in, switch it on, and we've got a selection of random items that we're charging. So one of my action cameras, my USB, uh, no, wireless um, microscope, one of my batteries, uh, power bank. That one's nearly fully charged anyway. And then I've left that one plugged in the end there. So we can see if we actually plug that into one of these, it's actually drawing something. Point four eight amps. So say that one's practically fully charged. So yeah, success. We are up and running again. So say I suspect it was trodden on, and that just happened to break that wire. So there, job done. I'm pleased. I didn't honestly expect to be able to fix it. So I thought it was going to be something burnt out that I'd have to try and find the components for. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.